you pass the time for me? We have to wait for 20 minutes. Hi, Skylar. Look at that. Oh, so cute. Are you purring like that? Seem promiscuous on you. Mm. You're built to love and destroy. I can't fathom if the issue. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, I'm going to be doing a nighttime skincare routine featuring Always Sunday. So, this is all of the products that I got from Always Sunday, and this is their entire skincare line that is catered to combination skin so as all of you may know i have combination skin so basically what it means that i have oily skin right here on my t-zone but my cheeks and my chin are normally dry well i like the concept of treating your skin every day like it's sunday so not only you're not giving your skin that major tlc but you're really achieving that clear glowy skin. So recently, I've decided to go makeup free just for the reason that I really want to give my skin a break. I reached a breaking point that makeup is not necessarily an everyday thing for me. So I really want to give my skin that extra TLC that it deserves because it's been bombarded and doused with so many makeup and I really want to give my skin a break. So I'll just talk to you to the process of how I decided to go makeup free. I just can't wait to get started. So let's just get right onto it. I'm just gonna put on a headband just so my hair is out of my face. So before I use the Always Sunday skincare line, I like to first cleanse my skin. So I'm going to show you a technique of mine that I discovered through a fellow YouTuber. Her name is Alexandra's Girly Talk. And I just love all of her videos. I do recommend watching and subscribing to her. But anyways, I'm going to show you thing that she's doing with her cleanser is something called dry cleansing. So I'm using this recipe by Sloganic Cha Cha Phone Cleanser. This is from Korea. I got this from my cousin while she was on her trip to Korea. And by the way, you can use any cleanser of your choice. So basically what you do is you take your cleanser of choice, um, a pea size is usually good, of, good enough for me. And what you do is you apply the cleanser directly on your face, like without using any water and just massage your face. And you want to pay extra attention massaging to your nose area, not to my T-zone area here on the forehead and the nose. So basically the concept of this dry cleansing is that the cleanser goes directly into your skin while you massage it. So this is actually the silver lining of the dry cleansing method is that not only you are cleansing your skin but you're also giving your face a mini massage. So after the cleanser has completely vanished and your skin is going to feel a little tacky, now's the time for you to dip your hands into the water and just massage your face with it. So I just wet my hands and basically as you can see, it is reactivating the cleanser back. And the theory of this dry cleansing is that the cleanser brings back all of the impurities and dead skin cells that came along with your skin and i've noticed a huge difference doing this dry cleansing method like my skin feels extra clean when i do this so i highly recommend this method you can now rinse off the cleanser so i'm patting off my face to prep it for the next step which is the always sunday skincare lab and I'm super excited to use this guys, like for real, I've been waiting for this product just to come to my house any minute and I'm so stoked. So I'm gonna use an exfoliator. This is the Gold Mine Exfoliating Gel 
and it claims to lift away dead skin and your sorrows. What I love about Always Sunday is that it gives this, you know, little puns that go with it and I'm just, it just really gets me. It smells really good. And I like to take a little bit just like that and just scrub my face. So I just got a facial like two days ago. It's been a while since my last facial. I think I did my last facial last year. And I'm surprised that I don't have that much breakout since then. So what I like about this gold mine exfoliating gel is that it's very gentle on the skin. Totally showing off the dead skin. It's just giving that exfoliation that the skin needs. I do this like two or three times a week every, or every other day because it's not healthy for you to exfoliate the skin every day. I feel like I got it all and I'm just going to rinse all of the gel on my face in there. So I just pat off my face dry and my skin my skin feels super super refreshed and energized after doing that. And I'm still on the second step of my skincare routine. Before I move on to the next product of Always Sunday, I just like to um, do a face mask. And you know what it is, it's the most hyped mask of all time. So I'm just using this sample size of the Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay. I'm just going to put this clay into a bowl. And I think a good tablespoon is enough to cover my whole face. Now, you can activate the clay with water or apple cider vinegar. And it works best with apple cider vinegar. That's what I'm going to use for today. I'm just using the OG of apple cider vinegar, which is by Brad. I'm just gonna put on equal parts of apple cider vinegar. Anyways, I'm going to mix up the mask. So you can get any of these foundation brushes in any beauty supply store. I just got mine from Daiso. I know. I will put all the products and where I got those products in the description box below. So I'm just going to leave on the mask for 20 to 30 minutes, but I think 20 minutes is enough. So I'll see you in 20 minutes. All right, I'm back. So it's been like 20 minutes. So I'm just going to take off the mask and I'm using a warm washcloth. Now I like to use a warm washcloth because um, it's gonna help open up the pores. Be beneficial when you're going to apply the products that will really help rejuvenate your skin overnight. Now there are some cases that when you take off the mask, your face is like super, super red. But according to reviews and my personal experience, um, the redness will reduce after 15 minutes. So as you can see, my face is very red because of the mask. But don't worry, it will all subside after 15 to 20 minutes. So we're going back to Always Sunday skincare products. Now, um, when I use a mask, it's very imperative that I use a toner. And what I like about Always Sunday is that they launched a product that is called the Minty Matcha Clarifying Face Mist. Their face mist is a toner and moisturizer in one. It's the ultimate multitasking skincare mist that's easy to use. Your face and this mist are a matcha made in heaven. If you want to feel fresh and rejuvenated, spray our minty matcha on all day, every day. It has tea tree oil, which has anti-inflammatory properties that reduce the redness and helps fight acne. So I'm just going to spray this all over my face. It's so refreshing. Like I can feel the mint kind of got in my eye almost <laughs> but no for real the skin my skin feels so rejuvenated and refreshed like it gives that tingling feeling almost I love it and it dries super super fast it really smells like matcha green tea almost it's growing up my eyes would be super super dark and super puffy because I have allergies and I am one fourth Indian so there you go I'm using this Eye cream from Always Sunday. It is their Ice Cream Dark Circles Minimizer. 
claims that it brightens the skin under the eyes. It contains rosehip oil and lemon essential oil that are known to correct dark spots. The vitamin E helps nourish the skin and reduce fine lines. To use, applying gently around the eyes, use it in the morning and night. You have to use a little amount of the ice cream because it's so potent. A little goes a long way and I can see that because it is so thick. It smells like florals or something. I like it. So anyways, I'm just going to use a little bit and dab it under the eyes. It melts right onto my skin instantly and it feels so soft. I like to apply it also on my eyelids. And a cool trick is that you don't want to put the eye cream like here and close to the eyes because as it sets, it just goes straight right onto your eyes. So you want to do it like where your under eye bags end. Here. So basically, when the eye cream is this thick, it means that the product is so concentrated. That is why that you have to use only a little bit. So we're almost close to the last line of the Always Sunday products. Milkshake Lash and Brow Grower. This is their newly launched product and there's not much reviews about this product and I hope this works just as well, if not better. So it says that you have to shake it to activate the product. I like the name, Milkshake. Ooh. Lip gloss brush. Okay. This is new because usually um, you get a almost like a mascara wand for a lash and brow serum. So it's pretty interesting to use a different kind of brush. You know, like you use for a lip gloss and highlight on your lashes, on the roots of my lashes. The brush is very gentle, like it doesn't hurt my eyes. So I'm using this Always Sunday Rose Quartz Crystal Elixir Face Oil. And the tagline just says, love your face. So this has jojoba oil, rosehip essential oil, and grapeseed essential oil. The reason this is called Rose Quartz because the healing stone of this product is basically rose quartz. And I like it comes in a dropper. I mean, I'm really into droppers right now. And it's like liquid gold. I'm just gonna use like this much. I'm gonna apply it on my forehead, my cheeks, my nose, chin. Grab that all over my face. You can really feel that the product is all natural oils. Feels nice. So lately, I've been using face oils for a while now. I like to use sunflower oil, coconut oil, but be warned with coconut oil, it might work for you or it might not work for you because sometimes coconut oil can clog your pores. So you can try any Oils such as rosehip oil is good, vitamin E oil is good, sunflower oil is good too. So the last product that I'm going to use is this Always Sunday Glazed Donut Nourishing Lip Oil. So this is one of their best sellers and it claims that you will have nice plump lips in the morning. It smells like peppermint. I guess that's why it's gonna give that plumping effect. Because of the peppermint oil. Mm. Feels nice on the lips. Okay, so that is my entire nighttime skincare routine. Guys, I hope you'll join me in the journey of mine of going makeup free. I know it will be, it will be a good thing for my skin to really help boost my self-esteem because you know I've always been a natural girl and 
I was at some point I used to despise makeup and now I am obsessed with it. I am trying to keep myself grounded when it comes to looking good because it all really comes from it and no matter how many high-end products you're using on your face. And what I like about skincare is that you don't have to splurge on a lot of products because any product will do no matter how cheap or expensive it is. It is how you use it and how often you use it. Take your skincare routine very religiously and that's how you can achieve that, that glowy and clear skin. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on my next video. Bye!